Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. This hymn is sung in the Farsi language, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, in the Guru Granth Sahib, it's page 721. Creator, please hear me. Haqqa kabir karimatun. You are great, true, merciful. Be ab a part of the God with no spot, with no blemish. Dunya muqami fani te hikika diladani. The world, as beautiful as it appears, is a passing place of death. Te hikika diladani. Know this in your mind. The Jandut, the angel of death, is grabbing my hair. It means my time of death is coming. 
dil le hich na dani but my heart is not set on it i'm my mind is not focused on that it's focused on materialism maya zan pisar padar baradara zan means wife pisar means son padar father baradara brothers and sisters kas nes das tangir when i die they don't go with me nothing in this world goes with me when i die akhir bi aftam kasna dar da chung shavad taqdeer and at last when i fall with my last prayer no one will rescue me who only god shabaroz gashtam dar hawa kar daim badi khayal the wind blows daily morning and night it blows the door the cycle of life coming and going birth and death things come things go i wandered in greed kar daim badi khayal i planned evil i wasn't concerned about my spiritual welfare i was only concerned about my materialistic welfare but bakhta hamchu bakhil ghafal binazar bibak misery negligent shameless no shame i have no fear of god why because all i fear is what my body has I'm afraid of losing it nanak bhoya the jantara tere chakaram pa khak nanak says the first guru i am your humble servant o god i am at the dust of the feet of your slaves who are god's slaves all of those who fill their minds with the word of god who dwell on the word of god who live by the word of god not not being religious but being spiritual respecting our bodies respecting our lives respecting others respecting the home god is the home in which all of us live this prayer began with Guru Nanak saying I offer one prayer to you O creator please to do this it this doesn't mean that we have to bribe god or scream and maybe he will listen to us he is listening but we need to be made aware that god is listening he may not be paying attention if it's not a sincere prayer but he can hear it And so this hymn tells us that no matter how great we are, no matter how famous we are, how strong we are, how beautiful we are, it all will go away one day. Just like everything that blossoms. I could pick this flower, but I won't. It's not my property. And that flower wouldn't be there anymore. So God picks us. We're like the flowers in his bouquet. So don't make yourselves too much comfortable in this worldly garden of god yes enjoy it appreciate it but don't fix your hopes on those things which come and go fix your hopes on that which is permanent hukum the natural laws of the universe god himself wisdom and share this with others and blossom like the beautiful garden so that you can live a productive life not a proactive life this is what sikhism is all about education not dressing up like a saint not trying to show how many good deeds we do it's good to do good deeds that's great but heal ourselves inside through the wisdom of god so that we can progress so that we can mature so that we can filter out all of those negative inspirations that inhibit us from helping ourselves and from helping others because it's not an i in this world it is a we society i have to heal the i so that i can participate and help the we the others we all have to do this and it takes humbleness and willingness to look outside of the box of how you were brought up i'm not saying throw away the good values that you've learned from your family from your teachers but look outside the box of 
the limited knowledge that you have and be open for more wisdom. Get that Bud enlightenment through the mind and live by it. Why Guruji Ka Khalsa? Why Guruji Ki Fatih?